Prem Virtual Storytime. I'm Miss Carrie, and I'm here with our friend Max because we're reading a book today by Eric Carl called The Very Quiet Cricket. And Max, he just loves crickets. So I hope that you're ready, sitting crisscross applesauce with your listening ears on. And I hope you enjoy the story, Very Quiet Cricket. One warm day, from a tiny egg, a little cricket was born. Welcome, chirped a big cricket, rubbing his wings together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Good morning, whizzed a locust spinning through the air. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Hello, whispered a praying mantis, scraping its huge front legs together. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good day crunched a worm, munching its way out of an apple. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened, not a sound. Hi, bubbled the stiff beagle, slurping a sea of froth. A little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good afternoon, screeched the cicada, clinging to a branch of a tree. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. How are you? hummed a hump bumblebee, flying from flower to flower. The little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good evening, where the dragonfly gliding above the water. And the little cricket wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. Good night, buzzed the mosquitoes, dancing among the stars. The little cricket he wanted to answer, so he rubbed his wings together, but nothing happened. Not a sound. A luna moth sailed quiet through the night, and he cricket enjoyed the stillness. The luna moth disappeared silently into the distance. The cricket saw another cricket. She too was a very quiet cricket. Then he rubbed his wings together one more time. And this time, he chirped the most beautiful sound she had ever heard. Thank you for joining me, friends. I'm so glad that we get this chance to read together, to be together, at least online anyway. But from now, I'm going to picture your faces in my mind. I'm gonna move them to my heart, and I'm gonna wish you well. Until next time, bye friends.